What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a great day. The first gen build is in full effect tonight. Step one is cleaning and degreasing the under cab and underneath. Not really worried about the paint and body right now. It's just really about everything underneath, uh, frame, anything underneath. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna list the parts. You guys know what's under there. Everything is getting degreased and pressure washed right now. Been out here for about an hour and a half. I hope you guys did like the intro, the time lapse in the intro. Hopefully you got to kind of see what we're up to in the beginning. I uh, didn't really want to talk through it or make the intro prior to it. I'm, that's why I'm making the intro now because we got a lot of stuff to do on this first gen. We got a lot of work to get done this weekend. I'll show you guys some parts right now that we have planned on hopefully getting to this weekend. We're first gonna try to get the bed off the truck as well. We got to try to get the bed off here. Hopefully tomorrow we can get this bed off so we can uh, get to the rear axle and, and just start starting to prep the frame and everything back there to get undercoated. Now we have everything for the brakes because as you guys know if you've seen yesterday's video, the first couple mods we're going to be doing is drivability mods. Getting this thing safe to drive down the road and sorry if the audio is kind of bad with that motor and the pressure washer running behind me. But like I said, we're, we're moving at a fast pace. We've got a lot of stuff to get taken care of, and I'm going to bring you guys along the ride for it all, whether or not it's a time lapse or me talking to you guys kind of through it. But we got all new brake hoses. There's three of them, one in the center, one goes to each wheel in the rear, and that, that's for the rear, uh, new hoses for the rear. And new calipers, of course, for both sides, new brake shoes, one box, and then two box right there uh, for both the rears got uh, some brake pads for the front. We got, what is this? I don't even remember. I think this is a... I can't even remember what this was. Oh, master cylinder. Got a new master cylinder uh, for the brakes. Got the brake booster getting in on the 20th of this month. So the 20th of this month, we're getting the booster in. We got the master cylinder now. That's of course gonna go in on at the same time. And underneath here, we got of course the rotors and those two big square boxes underneath. Uh, this right here is a heater core. We got a new heater core for the truck because winter is coming and we want to have heat in the truck. The AC works great. Uh, if, you, if you guys seen the, I'm not really going to recap on every video because there's pretty much going to be a video, a new video uploaded every single day. So make sure if you're not already, put your push not notifications on and make sure you're liking the video so we can help this channel and build grow. We're going to try to keep it at a pretty high pace and I'm trying to talk in between his squeezes over there just so the audio is not too, too bad. But yeah, we got the heater core for it. We got a lot of parts still on order that haven't got here yet, but we'll go over that as soon as they get here. The scraper is of course, I usually get a plastic scraper, but I just have to be really easy with this one now that, it, or that it's a metal one for the rear diff. We're gonna take that off, re-put a new gasket sealer on. We got shop towels, new screwdriver set, because I needed one, Gojo, because we're about to start project first gen. Some shop towels. We of course got synthetic 7590 Lucas oil gear oil for the diff. We got seven quarts of diff fluid because that's how much it takes. We got oil dry because first gen is life. And here's the gasket maker right here for the rear diff. So we got, oh also we got a new torch today and a spare bottle as well. So I'm expecting a lot of things to be kind of either rusted on or just being a pain in the butt. So we're definitely gonna have to heat a lot of things up, especially since we're taking the bed off, axle nuts, things like that. You know, the axle nuts are a pain in the rear end. And also got my bilge pump in this box somewhere. I gotta get to it, but for the rear diff. So we're gonna fill it up. And of course we got some synthetic brake fluid from Valvoline. I like Valvoline products, they're pretty good. And we got some brake parts cleaner as well. Also we're gonna be using my boy Ryan's Get Some 1000, I've been using this stuff a lot. He sent this in subscriber mail. If you guys didn't know, our PO box is always in the description below. If you guys wanted to send anything to me and my brother, we'd be greatly appreciative of it. And Ryan told me he's gonna send me another can of this to use on the first gen, and I'm definitely gonna need it. Cause even though I have it, I really don't like WD-40. Uh, prefer PB Blast, but this Get Some stuff is really good and I really appreciate it. And just a mass airflow sensor that we're not going to worry about. But let's go check on his progress out here, guys. I'm going to turn this lens camera light on that I got off Amazon. It's crazy the things you can find on Amazon. This thing, hopefully, is doing pretty well. Let me know in the comment section. Let's do a little walk around. I got this because I know I'm going to do a lot of filming at night here coming up. This thing was like $40, I think. And it seems to be doing well on the lens here on the back or the little screen that I can watch. I know I'm going to do a lot of filming at night, a lot of filming in dark engine bays, and, you know, I got two little lights, let's see. Now, I take this filming thing pretty serious, 
try to get the best quality content as possible. I got this light because I know we're going to be underneath a lot. And then I got another light on the, right here. This thing is freaking awesome. Let me see that. This thing was at auto zone. I'm not even going to point it to the camera. But this thing is super bright. 210 lumens and it's got a little one on the top. And it's magnetic on the bottom. So I can put this on the hood. I can put it kind of like, kind of like this. And then I can show you guys the installs under the underneath the hood as well. How's it looking under there, Chris? Well, we got most of the grease off. Um, looking pretty good? Yeah, not too bad. This Purple Power actually did a lot better job than I thought it was going to. Yeah, he was talking crap about my Purple Power, man. I had to tell him <laughs> chill out with all that nonsense. But we pretty much got the gas tank cleaned up, the rear axle chunk completely clean. Okay, um, sweet. We should have, and honestly, Terry, we ain't going to be that greasy tomorrow. Good, good. Let me get underneath here. Well, I think uh, we're probably going to let this dry. Maybe go eat some dinner. And let this thing kind of drip for about 30, 45 minutes. Pull her into the garage. And then, of course, clean off this driveway with a pressure washer tonight. Because I don't want anything to stain on the driveway. There is so much oil under here, man. Let me show you. You guys are not going to believe. This thing has, like, literally never been clean. You should have seen. There was, like, so much gunk on it everything it was ridiculous like for instance those shocks right there those yellow shocks they were just completely black and i had to have the pressure washer point blank on those things for like 30 seconds in each area just to get just to be able to see the yellowish color i can't even explain to you how nasty it was under here underneath here and it still is kind of nasty pretty much perspective I'll show you this nasty oil puddle look at this oil puddle right here it was, I was just, I just had a clean driveway. I just pressure washed it not too long ago and look at it now. But good news is while it's still wet, it's gonna be really easy to pressure wash. This grass is probably gonna end up dying, but first in, build, more important than grass. I got my priority straight, but we are going to, what, dinner time? Chow up, Yeah. then come back out here. Oh, by the way, you guys have seen Chris's truck before. Uh, you guys have seen Chris here on the channel as well if you've been here for a while. We did this light bar install on the channel. He got this from like Amazon for like a hundred bucks or something, and it's actually really bright. He's got a 1500, what's a 2010? 14. Oh shit, I'm way off. <laughs> it shows how much I know about fourth gens. But yeah, it's a 2014. He's got the same paint code, PS2, as the second gen over there. So, got the same exact paint code. His looks a lot better than mine though. A little walk around. We got a little moto medals. What are these? Ultras. Ultras. Got the old ultras with terror grapplers on here. Middles. Got yep. a terror grappler G2s. Um, here in about, I'll uh, say about a month, I'm putting some. Uh, actually, might be getting the same wheels you have. Fuel Renegades? Yeah, Fuel Renegades. What? He brought us some toys over here, some presents. What we got? Absorbent. Yeah. Dry sweep. Well, I figured... I call it dry sweep. What'd you call it earlier? You called it... Cat litter. Cat litter. Okay. Well, I mean... Pretty much it's cat just litter. the exact same, and it even has cat litter on the back. So... I'm about it, I'm about it. I got some more goodies in the Got a diesel box. pulling in the neighbor's house right now. I didn't even see what kind it was. It's a... It looked like a 2000 model. What? What kind of truck? 2500. Like... Uh, Dodge or...? Dodge, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I don't, I don't know That's if it was I'm talking a about. 24 though. All right, well, I'm going to stop blabbering on. I'm going to get this first-gen project on the way. Like I said, we're going to let it dry off, then pull it in the garage. We've got a lot to do and little time to get there. Actually, a lot of time to get there. No one's in a rush, but I'm trying to get uh, some things done this weekend. So I'll see you guys in a minute.
<laughs> Save the garage floor from oil leaks. I cannot believe how cold this AC is. I Dude, know I've said it so many times, but like I'm for fucking freezing in here. Dude, My I'm surprised this thing doesn't water. have the the dreaded Cummins squeak. It doesn't. It actually, little sneak preview for staying this long in this video. There's a, a new Gates belt and tensioner coming for this thing too. So that's already on order. Of course, Gates, my favorite. Uh, belt brand out there. I got one on my 24 valve. My brother has one on his 24 valve, and they're just all around a great company. Dude, is, I mean this thing. This thing is pretty. Well, I mean, of course, for it being what it is, I mean, it's got. The patina in the 80s. Yeah, I mean it, it's cool. You know what I would do? What? I would honestly. Clear coat it. I would. I mean, of course, fix this. Yeah. I would get the, you know, the the idea. tape off. But I mean, with the patina on it, like it is. I mean, there's no actual like rust on it. But to keep it authentic, yeah. you know. I mean, just Let just shine a little yeah, bit. just clear coat it. You know. I mean, sand it down a little bit. Get a little bit of clear coat. You know. I mean. I mean, there's the body's in great shape, no dents. Dude, I love this right here. See, that's oh, what yeah, I'm saying. I was gonna say, I love like the. And like a little bit of, a little bit of like, if you want to call that surface rust. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. Just clear coat it, keep it authentic, you know. I mean, just fix the minor, like on that one fender. Yeah, I you know. See you get a, maybe a whole and dude, I mean, the drip rail on this is still in. That's what me and my fantastic about. shape. I've never, we've never seen one that's not rusted in down here too. It's all these are always like rusted through. Oh yeah, solid. And I mean that's solid. I mean that ain't soft. Either. I mean. You did that in like 20 years ago. I mean that's in great shape. The mirrors are in good shape too, which I'm proud about. I'm glad that it doesn't have the freaking three <laughs> giant yeah. toe mirrors on this thing. I love these mirrors in the first gen. Power oh, yeah. mirrors too, which is unbelievable for this this age of vehicle. Take your light off. Unlock it. Yeah, what? Check out those back seats, man. I mean, granted, I don't know why he has this ugly little carpet thing right here, but I, I need to replace that and just take that out. But it's got the fold-down seat. There's no tears or anything in the fold-down seats. Nothing. Like two people could, you know, two smaller people could sit comfortably. We got seat belts back there and everything. Well, I mean, I'm 6'5". I mean, I'm 6'5". I still got... Well, the seat's down. I mean... It's getting less crunched up. You can sit back there though. Oh, I mean, like, yeah. Drive. I mean, nothing crazy, but I mean, the headliner's not falling down. No, the headliner's in great shape. You know, the red is growing on me. At first, I hated I it. That. Well, see, that's that's. Just gives you that classic, like old. Somebody said, take the grandpa out of this truck. And no, oh, I think I want to keep the grandpa in it. They oh. said we could find this color at Joanne's and resew this. I'm sure. That Things are in pretty good shape. I worry about the interior probably after I do all the supporting like drivability mods is the most important thing right now getting this thing safer on the road like I said the steering in the last video steering is actually pretty good the brakes is just obviously you've seen the parts earlier the brakes is what we're really focused on tonight it's getting really late out here tonight so I'm probably just going to end out this video but we're going to hit up the supporting bracket bolts for the bed with some de uh, not degreaser my mind's on degreaser right now from what we were just doing a minute ago but hit it with some penetrating oil there's eight bolts there's four on each side hit it with penetrating oil tonight it's gonna have to sit overnight and let it soak in because as you know this truck's what 25 years old 26 years old let's do the math 2018 24. or 2017 17 plus 7 24 years old that's a long time, so them bolts are really old, so we're going to let it sit overnight, probably end out this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the first gen builds so far. If you are, please leave a like down below. It really helps with the YouTube search results. There's a lot of Cummins content. You guys see the parts. These are only like half the parts I have on order. There's a ton more stuff coming. So I hope you guys are prepared and ready for that. 
put the push notifications on so you guys know when I upload. I either try to upload at like 10 in the morning or like seven at night, like five to seven at night is kind of in the area. But I, you know, I'm bound to upload at a random time. So make sure your push notifications are on. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, back window, you guys left some good feedback of the back window and the windows, the dry rotted uh, window seals. You guys left some great feedback on that. I read every single comment, so let me know what you're thinking down below. What's your ideas? What do you think would be good on this thing? And I'll see you guys no in the next one. To play, Cause you know that I'm a throw that I spread a world.